Hey there YouTube, Blator Awesome here, welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red Omega. In the last part, we cleared out the, well, first stage of Sevi Islands, or, well, what you can do right now, anyway. Uh, and in this part, we are going to do what I said we were going to do in the last part, which is go catch the three legendary birds. Um, the first one is here in the Seafoam Islands, which is one of the areas which I have not explored yet. Um... I'm actually not just going to be catching the birds, I am also going to be covering the entire place where they are found. Now, you can't surf in this part of the in this part of the Seafoam Island, so this entrance is actually useless. I just wanted to show that because, well, why not? Um, the real way to actually get anything in the Seafoam Islands is to come from the Fuchsia side, because the two sides are not really accessible. Not accessible. Yeah, yeah, it's, it, this side isn't accessible from Cinnabar, that side isn't accessible from Fuchsia, so, yeah. Anyway, um, we start out here with the first instance of a boulder pushing puzzle. Um, you have to push these boulders into the holes, then they fall down the holes, and good things happen. Um, so, you need strength when you come here. You can also fall down the holes yourself, but then you land in unpredictable places, so... Um, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> uh, so, the, the puzzles themselves aren't that difficult. I mean, at least normally, you can pretty much figure out how to put the boulder into the... Wait, whoop. Oh, my. <laughs> um... Yeah, you can pretty much figure out how to push the boulder into the hole. It's it's not that hard. Um, let's see. Do I want to go this way? Yes. Yes, I do. Um, there's that. Darn it. Uh, yeah, there's basically a lot of water and ice types found here in the Seafoam Islands. Um... I'm not going to list them because it's it's pretty much just every water and ice type, honestly. Um, but I want to go down here first because there's an item. Yay, a water stone. Um, okay, here is the main sort of room of the dungeon, or at least I always think of it that way. Uh, where'd the other boulder go? Gosh darn it. This is actually the main room of the... Seafoam Islands Dungeon, you can see that blue thing up there. That's the legendary Pokemon that I'm going after right now. Um, you can actually surf here, and there's also... Ah, there we go. Um, if you push the boulders in the right places, see, now, now the boulders are blocking off the stream of water there. That's what you're trying to do in this dungeon. Um, if you go down there, you get warped to another part of the dungeon, so, uh, don't do that. <laughs> For pretty much, that's, that's it. Hint, boulders might change the flow of the water. Yeah, that's the only hint to what you have to do here. Um, so see, now I can go over here and climb up this ladder. And now the two parts are connected. Um, so you can actually connect the two halves of the Seafoam Islands, but what does this do? Is there a hidden item here? It's weird. Um, so, yeah, until you do that, then, well, you can't do the other thing. Um, anyway, these two holes, you have to push these boulders down. Um, this is the only puzzle that I'd say is kind of tricky-ish. Because what you have to do is you have to move this one out of the way. Away, and then you put this one over here. And you go like that. And then here's the cool part. Ready? Ready? You land on your surfing Pokemon! I just thought that was funny. Anyway, there's the legendary Pokemon. Um, here's the thing. Before you fight a legendary Pokemon, since it's only one of each in every game, and you only have one chance to catch it, you save before you fight it. Okay, oh cool, I have 43 of the Pokedex in 43 minutes of my time. 
than 44 hours because it takes forever. Uh, anyway, that's what you do before you fight a legendary. Do it before you fight every legendary unless you're... Even if you're going to use your Master Ball, which I don't recommend doing on any of these, honestly. Um, yeah, just you don't need to. So anyway, here's the first legend. Guy. Oh. Okay, so the first legendary Pokemon which you will come across in these games is Articuno, the legendary bird of ice. Uh, Articuno is an ice flying type Pokemon introduced in the first generation. Why do I have red eyes out first? That doesn't seem like a smart idea. Um, he's an ice flying type introduced in the first generation. And uh, what can I say about Articuno? Um, in the metagame, he's not very good like it all um he's just kind of uh how do i say this he dies real quick um but for in-game purposes which is what i rate anyway he's amazing i mean he's a legendary pokemon he gets ice beam um he gets flying tight moves pretty much whatever you want he has it um he gets a 10 out of 10 in game most of the legendaries will not all uh, some of them are not that fantastic. And, okay, here's the part where I'm just going to speed things up. I'm going to run the legendary battles at normal speed until I get to the part where I'm just chucking Pokeballs at them. Um, see, he has Ice Beam. Uh, that oh, wow, that was quick! <laughs> yeah, I'm no I, I normally don't have too much trouble with Legends, um, but... One of the legendary bird Pokemon with its long tail trailing behind and its flying form is magnificent. Yeah, so Articuno is, um, no, I'm not giving you a nickname. Um, Articuno is a legendary Pokemon and, yeah, it's cool. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that was, oh God, that was so punny. Um, because <laughs> ice and, and stuff, oh shoot. My repel ran out, and I'm lost. So, I'm going to use an escape rope to get me out of here. Um, so that was the first legendary Pokemon, Articuno. Now, to go after the second legendary Pokemon. Um, now, I caught Articuno first for three reasons. The first one is that it comes first in the Pokedex, which makes it kind of cool. Uh, the second one is that its dungeon is by far the most annoying to me. So, I wanted to get it out of the way. The third is, there's actually something um, that I picked up on a long time ago. If you catch, if you want to catch all three legendary birds, if you catch Articuno first, it has Ice Beam. Ice Beam has a 10% chance of freezing the opponent. So, if you want to just have a sort of easy route of catching the other two legendary birds, catch Articuno first, bring it to the other fights, use Ice Beam right away, and there's a 10% chance that they'll be frozen. And they'll always pretty much be brought down to red health or close enough to it. Um, so, you know, that's just a strategy. Uh, it works especially well in red and blue version. Or red, blue, and yellow. Because then they can't unfreeze. In these games, they can. Um, so if you used Ice Beam once at the start of the fight, you could just freeze them and they would never be able to... Uh, Get unfro- Oh, right, yeah, there's that hole in the thing here. I didn't even have to surf. Anyway, next we are going here to the power plant. Um, which has kind of cool music. I like it, anyway. Um, now the power plant here, as you can see, there's a hint of a legendary right there. Uh, yeah, all the legendaries have their own sprites in the field, which is really cool, I think. Um, oh, that's exactly what I wanted to talk about. In the power plant, there will be Voltorbs and Electrode, which are extremely fast Pokemon, which is why I'm going to put Captain Zap up front. Um, yeah, they're extremely fast Pokemon who look like Pokeballs and self-destruct, <laughs> as you just saw. Um, so you can like look up a guide as to which ones are which Pokeballs on the ground are items and which ones are well. Not. Um, you can also find a bunch of other Electro-types here, uh, including Electabuzz, I think. 
At least in most of the time. Wait. Hold on. I skipped something. Darn it. I always do. Ah. Ah. See you, Magnemite. Um. Where is the entrance to that? I always skip that because I go straight for the legendary. And then I miss out on these items here. This is going to be a. No, it's a, not a Vault Orb. It's an Elixir. Um. Darn it. <laughs> I run through repels so fast in here because I'm always taking wrong turns or going too far or things. Anyway, this is the easiest of the dungeons in my opinion because you just run through a straight line and there's the legendary Pokemon. So, what I'm going to do right now is save because it's a good idea. And now I'm going to fight you. Gyo! Now, okay, here is the second legendary bird Pokemon, and the second legendary Pokemon I'm covering here, Zapdos. Zapdos is an electric and flying type introduced in the first generation. Uh, he... I can actually say a lot about Zapdos. Um, Zapdos is amazing. Uh, in the metagame, he's really good. He, he hasn't always been, um, but most of the time he is. And, uh, he's just... Like, he's fast, he, well, fast enough, he has good attacks, and he has a pretty good defense. Which means that, ah, shoot, um, I wanted Thunderbolt to do a little bit less than that, so I could have another shot at it, but, whatever. Um, how am I gonna hurt you just a little bit? Anyway, uh, so, he's incredible in the metagame, and he's also incredible in-game. He also gets a 10 out of 10 for in-game use. Uh, Electric Flying is a almost unique typing. Um, in the 5th gen, another two electric flying types actually, uh, were revealed. Yes! Didn't kill him. Um, oh wow, drill pack. That's gonna kill Ned. Ned, paralyze it with your effects board, would you? Come on. No! Not poison! Oh! 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 oh. Well, I'm pausing the video and restarting the game. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna super speed now because, well, stuff. Um, darn it, you used Thunder Wave. Uh, <laughs> no, not burn! Oh, God, why? <laughs> Catch it! No, it died again! Hold on. Okay. Try number three. Don't die this time, please. Yes! He got paralyzed! I'm so happy. Now that he's paralyzed, he can't die to other statuses. Uh, I'm just so happy. And plus, he'll be easier to catch. Um, so back to what I was saying, Zapdos, as an electric flying type, is a really good type. Um, he has only... He doesn't have a weakness to ground which all other flying types do. Um, he can get his... He doesn't actually have the best move set. Um, you'd have to teach him Thunderbolt through a TM, but... Wait, is that in the... I don't know if that was in the shot or not, but... I don't know. Um, yes! He was caught. Okay, what are the legendary bird Pokemon? While it's flying, it makes crackling and snapping sounds, because... It, like, creates thunder and stuff. Um, so, that's the second legendary bird caught, and then you just exit right there, and, yeah. Can't reach it right away, because there's that ledge there. And as everyone knows, it's illegal to hop over a ledge that's, like, three feet tall. In the Pokemon world. I don't know about it in the real world. Um, should Captain Zap be the first one up against the next one, too? Yeah, sure, why not? Um, so anyway, that's two of the legendary birds captured. Now, to the third one. Uh, the third legendary bird was in the original red, blue, yellow, um, found in Victory Road, which, uh, is kind of like, well, we're not there yet, clearly. Um, let's see, who's going to be my rock smasher? Um, Krabby, because I said you were very good for HM use, and I'm going to switch him out with Red Eyes, because I won't be using Red Eyes here. 
really. Um, so I'm gonna teach this Krabby strength, and I don't care what I delete because I'm not using Krabby. And I'm gonna teach him Rock Smash. Yeah. Um. So anyway, the reason I need this Krabby is, well, um. I'm going after the other legendary Pokemon, and you need Rock Smash, potentially, to get to him. So, um, also, as you can tell, I'm going to be picking up a bunch of things along the way that I couldn't get before because I- No! I missed that! Oh, no, I feel stupid. Um, because I didn't have Rock Smash, but now I do, so I can get items. Yay! Um, there's gotta be a hidden item here. There just has to be. There isn't. This makes me angry. No, seriously, why isn't there? Oh yeah, I could also go in there, but I'm not going to just yet. Um, that's going to be in a later video. I'm going to be covering those things. So, yeah. You'll find out what's in there eventually. It's, it's, it's a legendary Pokemon. I, I just want to warn you of that. What the heck? What? That disappeared? Okay, I really hope that reappears at some point, because because otherwise, oh boy, um, <laughs> that's that's kind of um, I that's kind of necessary later. So I really hope that comes back after I beat the Elite Four, maybe. Um. <laughs> oh, this would be so... I know strength made it possible to move boulders around. What do you think I'm... There we go. Um, anyway, that's the solution to that rock puzzle to get your Firestone. You didn't actually need uh, Rock Smash to get here, I guess. You need strength, but... Anyway, here's the third legendary bird. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's on top of Mount Ember. They moved it in this game, because I guess they wanted to put something really cool in the Sevi Islands right away. Uh, you can get him on your first uh, trip here. Um, I mean, you can technically get all the legendary birds as soon as you have Surf. So, you know, if you need help in, like, Saffron City or against Blaine or anything, you can go get these guys. Uh, yeah, so, anyway, uh, I just... I, I'm double saving here, aren't I? Whatever. Kyle. This is the third legendary bird. Um, this is... Is Moltres. Uh, Moltres is a fire flying type introduced in the first generation. Um, it along with Charizard and Ho-Oh. I mean, um, some other legendary Pokemon that I'll cover later. They're the only fire flying types, uh, in the games. Um, so, that makes Charizard the only, uh... Non-legendary Firefly. Oh, it used Endure! I could have thunder-punched it. I mean, thunder-bolted it. Yeah. Um, anyway, Moltres here. Uh, I always kind of view it as the least of the legendary birds. Um, just because... I mean, Fireflying is a really good type, but he's just not as... I don't know, he's just not as good as all the others, uh, in my opinion. Um, that's not to say he's a bad Pokemon or anything like that. Uh, he still gets- he's still fantastic for in-game, and he- OH YES! I FROZE HIM! <laughs> this is gonna last for very short, because he's probably gonna use, like, Fire Spin and break out of it immediately, but... I don't care. <laughs> um, uh, Moltres is not very good in the metagame, because he dies to a lot of things. Um, but he is fantastic for in-game use, still. Uh, he still gets a 10 out of 10 for in-game- HE'S STILL FROZEN SOLID! Throw Ultra Balls! Throw Ultra Balls as if your life depended on it because it- Oh, Poopy. <laughs> because it definitely does. Um. Yeah. Uh. Keep throwing the Ultra Balls. Uh, I think this is going to take more than one take. I just have that feeling. Again, something with Flash Fire here completely walls this- Moltres forever. Um, I should probably heal Bolt, but I'm gonna say he's gonna tank it until I catch it. 
Okay, maybe not. But Billy Bob will, maybe. Possibly not. Oh, just get caught already! Your brethren did not take this many Pokeballs, and I'm at a- YES! On the last Ultra Ball! <laughs> Yay! One of the legendary bird Pokemon. Those seeing it are overwhelmed by its orange wings that seem to be on fire. Yes, this is the Pokemon that supposedly saved Blaine when he was lost in the mountains. Um... So... I just did it! Yay, I caught all three legendary birds! And I only had to do... What do you mean, can't use that here? You can f We're on top of a mountain! I go off the top of the mountain and I can fly? That doesn't make any sense! That's, that, that doesn't make any sense! Ah! <laughs> okay! Whatever! Um, Red Eyes, get back in the party. Krabby, thank you for helping. Then go away. Anyway, <laughs> uh, those are the three legendary bird. I didn't even say I wanted to go back to Vermilion. You're a poop. Um, I mean I did, but anyway, those are the three legendary birds. Um, <laughs> caught incredibly quickly. Sort of. I mean, I was kind of expecting a half hour long video for this. Um. So, anyway, uh, now that we've caught the three legendary birds, um, oh wait, oh, oh, that's right, oh, that's right, yeah, look at the Bogodex, I have 31 owned Kanto Pokemon now, because of the three birds and other stuff, so now I can go, I believe it's this one, I think it's this one, and talk to you, 30 species, yes! Yes! I get an item finder. Uh, you can use the item finder to basically find items that are hidden. Um, it's really useful on, like, Treasure Beach and, you know, um, other places, I guess. Um, so yeah, once you get 30 in your Pokedex, you can do that. I'm going to be eventually going on a catching spree and catching another 30 Kanto Pokemon, actually, because you need 60 to complete the game. Um, this was, that part was not in, uh, actually, I'm gonna fly back to Cinnabar and stock up on Ultra Balls again. Because <laughs> I kind of spent them all. I like to have 30 with me. Um, anyway, as you can see here, uh, now that we've caught all the legendary birds, we started our adventure in Pallet Town. And then we went full circle everywhere. Um, the only place we haven't been yet is this stretch, the Victory Road, and the Indigo Plateau. Uh, those are the final bosses of the game. Um, but you can't go here until you obtain all eight badges. So we have seven badges. And the only way you know what to do next is if you paid at least a little bit of attention during the game and you know that there was an empty gym here in viridian city i'm gonna fly there real quick i mean not real quick i'm not super speeding right now um this gym was empty for the entirety of the game and it will be empty for the entirety of the game who are you oh you gave me the old rod didn't you probably um the leader returned. Yes. Uh, the gym sign still doesn't know who the leader is. The leader has never been revealed up to this point. Um, oh, in the, in the original games, on your trainer card, it had pictures of the gym leaders uh, before you got their badges. Um, there's my team. <laughs> uh, but in, and the eighth gym leader was just covered in shadows. So, you go in here. The gym leader has returned. He doesn't know the gym leader's identity, and it'll be the toughest of all trainers, and he likes ground-type Pokemon. Leader, question mark, but your rival already won! <laughs> He's not unlocked until you defeat Blaine, which means your rival went and beat Blaine, then re-hid the secret key, and then came here and killed the 8th gym leader, and didn't tell anyone who it was. When you find out who the 8th gym leader is, if for some reason you don't already know, 
you'll find out that this continues to make your rival kind of not a nice guy. Um, yeah. So, next time on Pokemon Fire Red Omega, we will be fighting the 8th Gym and finding out who this mysterious 8th Gym leader yet... Psst, it's someone we've met before! You can pretty much figure out who it is! I don't know why I'm making so many hand gestures right now. You can't see them. Okay, bye.